Hello everyone, welcome back to another session of Tip of the Month. In this tutorial, we're going to see how to design a slot raise for Drill and Blast Underground. So essentially what we have here is a, a, a drift and one down here as well. And in between them, we have this stope to be blasted. So essentially what we would like to do now is to design a slot raise that will go from this top mesh here, the top uh, drift, all the way to the bottom. And this is essential in any mining operation to uh, ensure that we have uh, effective blasting uh, for in our drill holes. So first thing to do is to head to the drill blast underground options found in engineering one. So I'm going to go in here. And essentially, I'm going to go to raises and you can add a new template or use an existing one. So here I have an existing one that I can select and hit edit. And uh, this is what I have here. So essentially, this is where you will design your uh, drill holes that will be that will constitute your slot raise template. So I have the name two by two slot rays. Uh, you give it a width and a height. So width and height are, are essentially the width and height of this grid here. And down here, grid spacing, this is where you can change it to something else. So as we can see now, um, since I changed the grid spacing to 0.2, it changed the sizes of these little uh, boxes here. And uh, what you can do is add a hole. So if I click here and then add on uh, a an intersection. Make sure that your snap to grid is on, uh, which is very which is uh, recommended, and click on a point, and then you can add basically a hole with a select with a selected diameter. Uh, you can add an explosive uh, to the hole, uh, the explosive type as well, the default length of the uh, hole, and the stemming length as well. So once you do that, as you can see, the hole was added here. If you add a hole with no explosives, then it will change in color, as we can see down here in the legend. So loaded holes are red, uh, not loaded holes are green, and then the insertion point, which is the this yellow cross here, which will serve as the insertion point when you insert the slot rays in the drawing, uh, this is where uh, it will be inserted from. You can also move hole, so if I click move hole and then click here and click on another point, this is where it's going to take effect. Uh, you can also align uh, holes uh, vertically. So if I click, uh, let's say, if, uh, no, first I'll move this hole from here to here. And then if I click on align vertically, this hole with this one, so it's going to move to the right like that. And uh, if I move it again, let's say to this point here, and I say align horizontally. So if I click this hole and I, and I say align it horizontally with this one, it's going to move it up here. You can also erase. So if I click here, I can erase my holes in this manner. So as we can see here, we have basically six loaded holes and three not loaded holes with our insertion point in the middle here. And once you're satisfied with this template, you can click on OK, OK again, and OK. And now you're ready to insert your slot rays. So to do that, we're going to head to this command here, insert rays. Uh, still in the drill and blast underground module. You select the command and then you select the template that you uh, configured in the option. Hit OK. And then we're going to uh, follow the command line. So select higher mesh and bottom mesh. And uh, we need to be in plan view for this. Let me change. Uh, I'm just going to escape and uh, make sure I'm in 2D wireframe, which is better in this case. So insert rays, two by two, select top mesh, bottom mesh. And what we're going to do here is essentially uh, pick a starting point. So the starting point will start from the floor of the top mesh. So it's going to go here. And then the second point, which is the end point, will go to the floor of the second mesh. So I'm going to select somewhere here. So now uh, you can always edit the first point by going like this or edit the last point, which is the one down at the bottom. Or you can directly edit the dip. So if let's say we want to make it minus 70 instead of minus 79, 
we can have something like this and we can edit the azimuth as well with the same concept. So once this is good, we can hit OK and uh, uh, this section view, yes. And as you can see, the program now inserted our uh, raises and uh, they're basically, uh, if we look in, in our layer list here, they're named based on the distances that we've configured in the grid from the options. So we have 0 0.5, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, 1, etc. And uh, when you're on uh, top view, you start counting from the left to the right. So we go 0 0.5, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, 1, etc. Going in this direction from left to right. And if we rotate this view, as you can see here, we have our slot raises. Uh, and if I switch to conceptual, I can turn off my stop here to have a better look. So this is how they look like as configured in the options. We can also go to section view. So from essentials, uh, select section. Let's go to maybe section uh, 0.9. And as you can see here, we have this one hole here from the full slot race template. And to insert a report, we can do that uh, from the Drill and Blast Underground module, still in the category of Engineering 1. Uh, so to do that, go to the Options, click on Customize Reports, click on Drilling, Edit. And from here, uh, we can add items from the left to the right, and the items on the right will show up in the report. So to add items, all what you have to do is simply click on uh, an item, and click the add arrow here, or if you want to remove it, click on the item and click the back button to remove it from your report. So click OK to save your changes. And now what we're going to do is essentially, uh, I'm just going to turn off all my layers here, except for my section to have a better view uh, of what's happening here. Okay. So uh, we need to uh, basically let the program know where uh, our parameters are. And to do that, you basically need a pivot line, the drift outline, and the blasting outline. Since we already have the drift outline, we can uh, insert our blasting outline like this. So just something, you know, to cover the slot rays. And we need to also configure our pivot line. So for the pivot line, uh, what I'm going to do is just create an offset like this. And now we can configure parameters and follow the command line. So pick pivot line, drift outline, and blasting outline. Once this is done, we can go ahead and say insert report, drilling, select holes with a fence. Okay, that's fine. And select the holes, which is basically just this one hole here. And there we have a small report, but essentially if you have more holes in your uh in, in on one section here, they're gonna show up in the report, but since we already since we have only one hole here, this is what we have in the report. So it basically tells us here the hole number and pivot line and, and pivot number, which is just this one hole, as uh, and it tells us the length and the coordinates of this uh, slot raise hole. So if we go back to plan view, and I'm going to turn on everything here, uh, your slot raise template is inserted in this manner, and uh, you can uh, uh, on your section you can uh, essentially add a report to indicate to the miner uh, what are the coordinates of this one specific hole slash holes. And uh, this is it. So uh, thanks for watching, and if you have any questions. Uh, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Thank you.